Thank you so much. Feel free to always send us your open mics via the WDBO app. Open mic number three. Hey, Larry. Jay from Orlando. Love the show. Listen to it every weekend. I got a question for you. I have not heard anyone ask this to you before. How did you come about becoming an auto mechanic? And was it due to your childhood upbringing? Just a quick synopsis. Give us the backdrop of Larry Perry becoming a, the mechanic he is today. Thank you for your time and enjoy the show. Folks, I, I get asked that quite a bit. And, and, and listen, I have hired and worked with uh, some of the most brilliant uh, mechanics that that there's ever been on this planet. Uh, you know, Stan Honeycutt was not only, I mean, he was, you know, not only was he a, an employee of probably over 20 some years, but we, he was, he, he was an incredible human being. And he was one of these people. And I, I place myself in the same category. Some people are meant to do certain things in life. I, you, I believe you were born into it. You have that mental, mentality. You have that aptitude, and I, I think it, you know. In some cases, you're lucky. You know, you 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 find somebody that finds their calling. I guess is what you may want to say. Um, uh, Robert Howard, you know, which he's on, he's disabled now, but he was a technician at Magic Mechanic for probably you know, 24, 25 years, Dan Honeycutt the same way, uh, Bob Berg's dresser, which is retired now, one of the most brilliant mechanical minds I've ever run across in my life. But these are all guys that were meant to do this. I I'm just telling you, they, they were the best of the best. There, there will never be no replacement for them because as we transition into different means of cars, uh, they probably won't be any more reason to have us around. Uh, you know, in 10 years. But as it stands right now, uh, you know, I, I sit back and I look at the the geniuses that were just literally meant to do it, you know. And I, I place myself in that category, and I don't mean to be doing it boastfully, but I was meant to do what I do. I, I was born to do it. And, and it's really funny because I get asked the question, how was your, was your dad a mechanic? Folks, I'll be honest with you. My poor daddy, he 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 probably put, couldn't put a spark plug and a lawnmower motor without cross threading it. it. It it wasn't because of my parents or an uncle or anybody like that. It was just I was evidently just meant to do what I do, you know. And and I've had the pleasure, of, like I said, of working with some of the most brilliant people. Even though they're classified as an automotive technician. These are people that could have built the space shuttle, I, and I kid you not. Some of the most brilliant minds that I have ever been, had the pleasure to be affiliated with, you know. I, I can't give them enough credit, whether they're still with us or not, you know. It's just, uh, I've been blessed as far as the people I've been affiliated with in, in the industry. You know, I, I'm one person, and I can overlook most of the stuff that takes place in the in, at Magic Mechanic, but, you know, the Stan Honeycuts, the Bob Berg's dressers, um, the you know the Robert Howards, uh, the Phil Killians, uh, you know uh, I could go on and on and on. I mean, literally, these are the guys that had worked there for so long. They made this company that we have today, they, and the reputation that Magic Mechanic has. I will not take all the responsibility for our success under no circumstances. I've I've been blessed by some of the most brilliant people uh, there is on this planet, and, that, and I can pretty much leave it at that. Thanks for the open mic, folks. With today's engine technology, you know, are fuel injected, computer controlled. Well, not only does it apply to cars, trucks, vans, RVs, and pretty much anything from 1985 on, it also applies to marine engines too. So if you've got any marine engine questions, uh, no starts, broken timing belts, uh, uh, overheat issues, anything along those lines with your boats, you know, make sure you go and you post those questions and email me Larry at magicmechanic.com and don't forget about the Magic Mechanic radio show every Saturday from 3 to 5 p.m. on WDBO.com and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our new YouTube channel and make sure you leave your comments.